I mean, I think the most interesting number that they gave was that 90% of yeah. PS4 users are connect are connecting yeah. or have connected, right? Which A means two things. Like that does that mean they're connected all the time or right. is it they they've had the handshake. And they were and they were like hyping that number is a big number, which I definitely agree with, but you also have to remember at this point the people buying a PS4 or the guys that and girls that right. have the, the, yeah, the, the, the connectivity. The internet, like right? you're going like, to be able to do that. Yeah. So, and even if you don't have the connectivity, you're still going to be want to go on there. You want to download stuff. It's yeah. But we didn't really see anything that I felt like needed to be connected to the internet, anyways, right? So right. Like, the big games that were there were MLB, which I don't know if we're going to we talk even about look at, because yeah. sports, <laughs> uh, sports, uh, infamous, yeah, and the order, and that's what we were told going to be there. And then all of a sudden, I get there, and there's like. All these indie 20, games, third party and I games. Yeah. Out, like I literally like sent the flare up to Rob. It was a couple blocks from our office, and I'm like, "Get over here! What are you doing?" Yeah, it was it was it was fantastic. It was great to see like so many of like different companies, and there were tons of games all over the place. I think one of the big things is the couch experience that they're mm -hmm. going for. It's just like there were so many. You could hear it from the the Tower Fall Ascension corner basically because they had both the co-op section of Towerfall Ascension was the new part of Towerfall Ascension. And then they also had the multiplayer, which I have to say, every single time I saw four people mm -hmm. playing it. Uh, they also had Super, uh, Super Sports Friends, uh, Pole Riders was yep. there, was the big game that they had going on there, as well as... Like Hotline Miami 2. Hotline there. Miami yeah, 2. I, I tortured myself a little bit through that. Oh, that was... It was it's, Got through it's, one level. Yeah. It's fantastic, but it's also, uh, did you try uh, 1001 Spikes? Oh, yeah. That, oh, yeah. That was really cool. Well, they also have, like, a multiplayer that I did not yeah, know about. Yeah, the competitive about. was really fun. And they, they were saying, like, this was this was it for them. They, they, just, they just wanted to throw it all out there. They wanted to show everything. And the competitive side, because it was, like, you and three other people, but it's in these crazy rooms where you're going to die in, like, five seconds. Yeah, right? there's a lot of yelling going on in that there's room. There was a lot, of, lot of, like, just happy yelling, though. There was a lot of like, happy yelling, but it, was, but it was fun. Like I said, I think it's... It's the couch co-op experience that people sort of they're sort of like getting in on that with all these like great sort of sports indie games that they have. I love those events and just like the problem is I feel like it those are always the best way to play those games. And right. then when I get home, I never have anyone over. You never so have like nearly enough be people. Like online oh, completely right. Well, it's kind of like online. you know here in the office. Like there's been dudes back playing EDF. Like yeah. right. for like two days straight. There's like another set of dudes. I'll back never there. find. I'll never get anyone to come over and play EDF with me. <laughs> if I call any of you, no one's ever gonna come I, over. I will come <laughs> over That's and a play. Lie. That's I will. A I, I, only do because it. I have pie. But I will definitely not. You know what? I will come over just to play EDF. I will come over just to play EDF. Probably not as long as those guys were because they were here and until like past midnight, it's ridiculous. just playing. I was like, what do you guys go home, go to sleep? Well, some of the other games, we should, I guess, focus more on Sony and less on EDF, <laughs> but uh, we, we saw The Order for yeah. the first time. Um, Which, what they showed I, is weird, because I, it's like, basically they proved that this is a game, right? but they didn't show us what the game is. Hey, it's more of a game than Last Guardian at this point, so. <laughs> right. Uh, no, it's, uh, they, I guess it was weird, but they did do a lot of kind of preamble, getting it set up, and yeah. it's really just to show off the, the cinematic qualities. They didn't really want to show us the game. <laughs> they really just wanted to show kind of the cutscenes and how you transition from cutscene to gameplay. Uh -huh. it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically, hey, look, we're, we're proving it to you right now that yeah. this is in engine. Yep. It's, I mean, it's the yeah. Uncharted thing. Of oh, like right. You're, you're, all of a sudden you're in a cutscene, you're like, am I playing this now? Right. And I'm dead. Like, uh, but I think they talked about their quick time events and like how they want to do kind of the heavy rainish type thing yep. where the quick time events branch so that like it's not necessarily a fail state if you miss something. But you'll get a different outcome by yeah. doing different things. Yeah, and then like things. at the end, like you could pick this weapon or pick that weapon to finish the guy off. And they were saying something about different melee attacks for different characters. Characters, which I didn't know if that meant that like we could pick which character we want to play through that. Is yeah, that gonna be, that's weird because it didn't feel like you could. It felt like you were like stuck in whichever. But character. you would jump into different characters. Right. Through Possibly. Right. Are we? Are you know? Is it a co-op game? No, are they said it's not co-op. They said right. single player. So. People say a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> We've all heard this before. Right. I mean, from what you saw, are you more interested in it or just more confused by it? I think we knew it was a third person shooter and right. we knew kind of the world they were in. And at this point, I'd like to see kind of that 
longer gameplay section. What makes them unique uh -huh. other than the technology? And like I said, in their defense, they were really talking and pushing the technology. Right. And that's what they were, that was their focus. So, okay. you know, E3's right around the corner. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> it, hurt, it hurts to say it out loud. Yeah, well, and Infamous is sort of similar in that they're still being super cagey about what's actually in the game. Because I think they know now that, like, so many people want a PS4 game and a next-gen game and, like, that this... This is going to be the big one. Of a this is going to be the push. This time around, that you know, people are hungry for something and they're going to buy it, so they don't have to give away all their secrets. So they won't even tell you how many powers are in the game that you can absorb. I'm putting my bet on five. Five powers that you. Yeah. Can, I mean, are we talking about like different types of powers? Like you know, last time we had like electricity, fire, ice. Yeah. So now you have smoke and neon, and then unknown beyond that. But his whole thing is that he can absorb powers from other conduits just by touching them. So you would think there would be at least a couple more than the last game, right? But it, it would be stuff that you would naturally pick up from the environment because that's what you do. Well, like you walk in, around and you based suck in it out. Seattle, right? right. Yeah. So, so coffee has been so a, coffee a, a power. Good. Smugness is smugness a power? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a power up there. It gets you into a lot of places. But uh, like, did you see any of like the enemies or anything like that? Do you? Have we're we still seen? we're still seeing the same. That's the thing. We're still seeing the same Runs, DUP. Kind of oh, just sort of like. We're seeing like the more powerful guys that have like conduit-like powers, where they're like putting up stone shields and then like jumping with stone pillars and so stuff like could, that. So could like stone, stone be could be one. one of the yeah, things. I think concrete. Concrete, I think, is m more likely. But uh, well, and I felt like for the second game, they put so much out. You had already seen most of it by the time you played right. it. So right. it feels like yeah, it definitely feels like they're pulling back. Um, we got this one. We actually both got to play a little bit on. How was it? It's about third, I think I asked, and it was about a third of the way into the game. As a character, I felt a little underpowered, mm. but I don't know if this plays into like, at this point, I should have two other powers, and right. you know, who knows? Right. Like, it, this, I, I don't know, it, this didn't feel like maybe it was just a straight slice of a demo, or mm -hmm. like of a level. It felt like it was something that was kind of crafted for this event. With some right. things, oh, it's very definitely, I think, some things turned I think off. it's not only crafted for the event, I think it's probably going to be the demo that they put out to people mm -hmm. because they censored the power what they had shown us like five minutes earlier they had that censored in the playable but now so like why would you censor that yeah and right not be allowing anyone to film well, it? that's a good call it'll probably be the demo like i felt a little underpowered with the neon it felt a little hollow as you were right. how, how shooting does the, guys how does, so the neon's just like shooting or yeah like, what it's kind of lead like the electricity from the last time right okay. it's your your zap yeah the one quick. thing that's a little bit different with neon is that when, when you go into your aim mode you actually see the weak points with neon which oh. you don't see with, with smoke and then uh like your your range weapon is a little bit different with smoke you actually put out a smoke bomb and then you have to go up and like incapacitate the guys as they're choking uh, whereas the neon, it's more of an explosion type thing. Okay. Uh, and then on the good side, I guess the neon had like a slow mo effect when, yeah, you, when as you zoomed you in. Zoom in, so, so you had a couple of seconds oh, to right. fine tune your. Because they want you to knee people, you know, on the good side of instead course. of just ankle. killing them. <laughs> ankle Was it ankle? Dump. Yeah, I shoot them in the ankle. Ankle, ankle yes. shots instead of headshots. So yeah, it, it it looks great. It the the traversal's always very good. Um, I'm just a tiny bit worried about. Kind of how hollow I felt. Yeah, um, but well, I, they I, still, like, I still had a sense of like there are guys all over the place shooting yep. me, and where are they? Yep, right. So I'm a little worried about that. But that's also that weird like I hate getting thrown in, and it happens all the time when yeah. it's like, hey, you're 40% of the game, go. Yeah, and you're like, ah. But it also sounds like they were also, like, right, and they sound like they were also like sort of like taking out like some of the other elements that you might have yeah. along with you that might help you out in the situations. I think for PS4 fans, it's definitely the the must buy game coming up. It's uh, it's been a slow Q1 for, it's, it's for all a, of us. It's been a slow been a crawl slow for all the for all the consoles. Bird. So it's March is gonna get crazy. Oh yeah.